what is up folks i hope you're having a great day evening or whatever it time it is maybe you're on mars and it's just the forever long winter well this is jimmy g in the place to be bringing you back another great episode of the good the bad the awesome we unbox give my first reaction to all things pop culture mainly star wars transformers anime mcfarlane sprinkled in with a bunch of other things so if you're here for the first time but not the last time go ahead hit that like and subscribe button and to all those that are subscribed you are the wind beneath my wings and so today we are going to talk about a robot not a transformer not a gobot not a power ranger but something that inspired all of those we're going to talk about voltron and so i got this right here this figure right here we're going to take a look at it the voltron vehicle force and see if this cute little robot has what it takes and if it's my favorite of the voltrons i've reviewed before so let's go take a look and here we have it, folks, Voltron Vehicle Force, the S. Gogan Series 26 by Action Toys. I was able to pick this up at TFCon Orlando 2023. Uh, so I was picked that up from Chosen Prime, and I'll put a link to their website down below. That's where you could order all sorts of your Transformer and robot needs. But I saw this, and I was like, I have to have it. I, If you all remember, I did unbox a Voltron Vehicle vehicle force figure and it wasn't the greatest figure in the world i ended up taking it back and returning it because it just didn't do it for me but this one not only is it look cool but it's also kind of got that chibi style where it's just kind of just deformed and shorter so uh i am excited about opening this i'm looking forward to that you can check out all my voltron reviews i had the voltron 30 uh review that i put up and then the voltron um toinami 30th anniversary one uh and then of course that vehicle force but now we've got this one i still have one more voltron and that's the lucky cat microcosmos this Elvis one that we got to op open at some point in some time, but not today. Today is all about this one, but this box looks cool. Universal official licensed product. On the side, you can kind of see, you can kind of pose them. On the back shows you the land team, the air team, the sea team, uh, all the different fighters you can put them into, and then they all com combine to form Voltron, all 15 vehicles. You also get uh, certain weapons and things like that. And then on this side, you've got Voltron there as well. Now, most people remember the Lion Force Voltron. That's the mo what most people are accustomed to. I believe this was only one series um, long and so but it, it was a cool one too as well it's vehicles that form a big robot and whereas you had lions now my favorite will always be the lions the lions are going to be great but this is a very close second on that and a lot of people are like hey who would win in a fight voltron or devastator look voltron devastator doesn't come up to voltron's kneecap uh so voltron's so huge now i think it's more of who would win in a fight voltron or unicron now that's going to be a little bit tougher there because unicron uh voltron doesn't come up to unicron's kneecap so we'll see right there we can get into all this robot fighting and stuff later but let's get this out of the box and onto my table so let's fast forward and do this So pause for dramatic effect. So you get two different trays here. So let's take a look at this first tray. And so this first tray, you get the hands, you get fist hands, you get all the weapons, the sword and the base and the stand. That's awesome. You get a base and stand with it. So very, very cool. La looking forward to that. You also get the instruction booklet on what you're supposed to do. And then the, the big tray is this, and it feels a little hefty, so I can't wait to get these out to see how they feel. But there's all the vehicles, and so we won't get the, the, the weapons out yet. We'll get the vehicles out, and let's do that uh, right now.
Lots of plastic to get unwrapped, but here they are on my table in a disheveled mess. All 15 vehicles that will form Voltron eventually. And just first reactions, just feeling them, they feel nice and solid. I mean, in my hands. Now, when I bought this at the convention, they were $199. Sorry, my dog is barking in the back. He just wants some attention. But these were like, it was, I think, $199 is what I paid for. But I think you could find it anywhere from $150 to $220, just depending on on where you look for it uh but uh let's do this let me get them into each of their land sea and air force and here they are separated into sea air and land teams so each team has five separate vehicles that can each form three super vehicles and then they can all form voltron so let's take a first look at the land the land team here and so we got the fist right here that's the fist of voltron but you got the red car feels really good wheels do roll uh like wheels should uh on these and there's the blue so you can kind of see the difference between the two right there very cool uh and then of course the two cars these are heavy duty they have die cast inside of them and so very nice looking little cars here too as well and they do roll Two. and so uh, my favorite of the two is I don't know which one is the favorite of my favorite of the two they both look really really good my only concern is is once we get the feet on will it stay steady or will the feet go woo, 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 on that and then we have of course this little tank like mover thing right there which forms the waste of Voltron uh, so nice so that is your land team the air force or the air team of course you have the chest piece right here ship which looks really really cool um not a lot of like super intricate details i mean enough to tell what it is uh, again this is a small version of voltron so here's the red helicopter uh right here which is the i believe the right arm on that and then the left arm of voltron right here with the blue helicopter uh, so to see nothing special really, but it's really cool when you think about it as a kid, you got these from Mattel that were die cast, uh, these just different vehicles. And then you got this flying bus thing right here or, uh, lander or whatever it may be, uh, which is also part of the chest of Voltron. And then of course the spaceship spaceship uh right here which makes the head of voltron there so that's your air force right there your air team and then last but not least your c team and these are little tiny things right here which is his which is his uh like his thighs uh, his upper legs uh so one of the things too and i'll tell you with the c team you got to watch out for um and then here we got the blue one very nice made of plastic uh, these guys, and this is this is die cast here, so that's real heavy duty. But this top piece right here, uh, when I was taking it out of the box, it just kind of you got to be careful. They're they're loose. They're not t attached to it. Uh, so I almost lost this silver piece, and then these two silver pieces here almost lost. So so pro tip: if you get this, please don't lose those things, like I almost did. Uh, but there is that one there, and then last but not least this little like sea base thing right there i don't know all the technical terms for what these vehicles are but they are vehicles nonetheless here for your enjoyment so it feels really really nice so if you want to compare it to any i guess vehicles that i currently have let's bring in core class bumblebee and so for example core class bumblebee and that they're about the same size uh there for the core class there and then um i don't know if i have any legend scale figures or anything else let me see just give me just a second so i do have one is new ages david or aka optimus prime so you can kind of see from a size what that's gonna look like there and then if we bring in let me get this blitzwing from the legacy class Oh, well, we know how big he is from there, but we we're looking for that one right there, right? Absolutely. And last but not least, let's bring in a masterpiece scale figure, uh, which is this white Optimus or AKA Ultra Magnus. And so you can kind of see how big uh, these things are. I mean, some of them are really, really small. So like my knife here, and you look at the shuttle, 
That's how big it is. Uh, so very cool, you know, <laughs> legend-esque scale, I guess, but uh, with that deformed. But what we're going to do is we're going to get these guys combined into their super vehicle forms, and we'll come right to back. <laughs> Phase one complete. So we've got Voltron into his three super vehicles here. And so let's first take a look at the Turbo Terrain Fighter, the Land Warrior combination. So uh, there it is put together, just like you've seen in the cartoon, if you watch the cartoon. Pretty straightforward. A couple things to be a note of. Right here, uh, just, whoops. Right here, uh, the wheels pop off and you put these wheel these, these little covers on. Now be careful with the wheels because the wheels can pop off. And so you wanna make sure that you're in a good place where you can, a flat surface and somewhere clear where you can see those. Because if you're on somewhere that's black, like I was, they were tough to find. But everything just kind of pops in. Everything's kind of tight in where it needs to be, but it rolls. It is the super vehicle. So there it is from the top, from the back, the side, the front, and that side. So let's put that one back. Let's look at the C vehicle, which is called the Aqua Fighter. And so let's bring that into show and tell. Again, very straightforward, uh, putting it together. Um, just, yeah, that's what this is. Little movements that you gotta do, put together things. But other than that, everything came together really good. Bottom, back, side, side, top. Very cool, very hefty. And then my favorite of the three, which is the Strato Fighter. Uh, so, which has all the air vehicles and it actually looks like a air vehicle so that's what's really cool about it uh, so it looks like what it's supposed to and there we go from the so top the side the back the side there there are certain steps you got to do and everything fits precisely like for example on the land fighter these fists you got to kind of twist in uh, you can't just push them in because they they fit and they finesse a certain way but that is what they look like so let's do this let's get ready to combine into voltron so i'm gonna have to take all these apart to put them into uh to get them ready for voltron so let's do it
Let's form Voltron! Here he is, folks. Voltron. He is amazing, this Goken series. He's so cute! He's so tiny and he's so cute. I love him. I love him a lot. Uh, so putting them together, pretty straightforward, simple few things that you do want to be aware of. You want to take those little metal pieces off right here. Well, they're plastic pieces. Um, you also want to make sure that the wheels are off still too as well. Uh, on the bottom, to keep it from rolling, there's a couple little parts right here. I don't know if you can see that, but you can kind of flip those out to keep that where it needs to go. And then, um, yeah, the, the 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 more difficult parts were just getting these arms in and then getting that waist in. But everything snaps in good. Everything is nice and tight. You can kind of see. Nothing's kind of flopping around. But he is so cute. He's so cute. Look at him. So from a size standpoint, there's my knife. So is this like a legend scale Voltron? No, I would say even smaller than legend scale because, again, this Voltron should be like this would be a human size to it right there right so it should be huge but you do have lots of articulation and stuff you can do with it so let's bring it in a little bit closer bring the camera up and so let's start at the face you do have rotation up and down side to side you can go all the way with that you also can with the arms you got movement like so but you can also take this up and you have basically i think it's like a butterfly joint let me see here but yeah you got that you got this arm here these can come off right here too as well uh but yeah you can go 360 with it very cool so you got some good movement there you do have an ab crunch there so yeah nice so nice little ab crunch there uh, that you can do. The the thighs. Let's let's move these arms out of the way. And I'm gonna take this chest piece off really quickly, so that way you can kind of just get a better look. Come on, chest piece, come off. Doesn't like me. Doesn't like it. Doesn't like to come off now. There we go. Uh, so uh, let's move that up. But you can get these. You can kind of almost Jean-Claude Van Damme it if you want to there we go so cool uh, you also have front kick all the way up the bend at the knee more than 90 degrees there really cool you can go back as well not too far back but you can go back uh, and then the legs you have lots of ankle tiltage and things like that that you can do with it so you have a lot you can do the only thing I don't like you can't get him to stand straight 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 up because he's got big thick thighs he's got thunder thighs there so he can't stand uh, as tall as you would want him to look let me get him all back together so that way he's in his nice little poses and we're gonna get some weapons and all that good stuff too as well but that's a little bit of the posing and then we'll kind of get a closer look too as well of uh, some of the details on this all right, I got them a little bit back to together. A couple other things I want to show you from a range of motion that I forgot to show you is here on the arm, uh, you can kind of see there you got that kind of like butterfly where you can get that really, really kind of out, out and about there. Really cool. And then of course you do have this range of motion too with the arm. So you've got a lot of pose ability with this guy. He is so cool. And then on top of that, you got so many weapons that you can choose from to really kind of just make it, make him Voltron. It's just that cool. That's, it's just so cool. Uh, I love the look of this. And Action Toys, I mean, they got a, a more realistic one coming out, but this, this baby is cool. I like him. I like him a lot. I think he's great. So let's bring him in for just a little closer look. Look at that face. 
just that stoic face. We'll get a kind of a rotisserie kind of view of him here. So there's the top, front, the side, the back, the side, and then there, top, bottom. So there he is, just lots of really great detail, just like you would see in the cartoon. And the paint job's really, really good. There's no real overspray or anything on this guy. So Action Toys did a really, really phenomenal job uh, on this guy. So I kudos to you all, Action Toys, for making an amazing Voltron figure. And so some of the other things you get, like I said, you get a base, you get... Um, you get some other stuff too. So you got a base for your equipment. You got the laser blades. You got the ray beam whip. You got the swords. You got, you just, you just got a cool, lot of cool stuff. So let's get all those accessories out and I'll show them to you. So how do you say you get a crap ton of stuff without saying you got a crap ton of stuff? So from a weapon standpoint, you get three sets of hands. One of the sets of hands gets to put the spinning like laser blades on, which is so cool that you can kind of put those on there. You also get the open fist hands right here, which is awesome. So no articulation in the fingers. So they're just meant to be posed. It'd be kind of cool if someone modded it and had articulated fingers. Then you get this with that can hold the sword and the spears. And the cool thing about the sword, uh, the blazing sword, is you have this long handle or I can have the shorter handle. And so the longer handle, if I want them to have, hold it with two hands, shoulder, shorter handle, if I want to hold it with one on that. So those are a few really, really cool things that you get. And of course the two spears and the two spears uh, to get them into the hands, they do pull apart. Uh, so that way you can put them into the hands for him to hold. Uh, so let's do this and then, oh, don't forget about the whip. The whip is cool. That is so awesome. Uh, so you get that as well. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get him some weapons in, but we're going to compare him to some other robots too as well. All right, folks, I took your feedback on the Windblade video. So everyone here has swords, including Menasaur. He's here. So we have the Voltron right there, Vehicle Force, with his sword and his whip. Watch him whip. Watch him nay nay. Uh, and then we have Legend Scale Iron Factory Cyclonus. We got Bludgeon, Hot Rod, Windblade, Metal Hawk, who has a sword right there. And of course, Menasaur, Magic Squares Menasaur, and Voltron, Defender of the Universe, the Five Lions there. So you can kind of see how he compares to the others here with all their S words and things like that. So this is going to be a sword party. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun, but I am digging this figure. It is friggin' awesome. I went ahead and pulled his little helicopter blades off just so that you can we can play with him a little bit more and have some fun with him. But let's zoom back in to the main event, which is Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Just so cool, so awesome, so Kajunga wonderful, whatever you want to call him, that is what he is. You could take that, so that's cool, so you can kind of see how these kind of pop off right there, and then I can pop this apart, if it'll let me. I know it does. It says so in the instructions. Let me pull, let me pull. This pops off too. It says so in the instructions that this comes apart. And then you can kind of go you can put this in one side here and one side here. And now we got a different weapon there. So we can kind of make him be like so. There. Oh yeah, getting ready to fight all oh, the bad guys, the Germans, the Zedergeists, the whatever. Uh, so this is it. So let's get back together. Let's talk through some of my final thoughts on Vehicle Force Voltron. And so my final thoughts on Vehicle Force Voltron. Let's bring him back in 
He is freaking cool. He is awesome. I got nothing else to say about him. I love the fact, I mean, the only cons is he's not like a life-size stretch out. He's a deformed Voltron. But that is it. Everything else about this bot screams awesome. Made of die cast and plastic. Now, things you got to watch out for is the little parts and things like that. They can you can easily lose those if you don't watch out for where you're putting those. Uh, but other than that, it is just a great bot with lots of articulation, with uh, lots of playability and posability, and um, and just would look great on your shelf. Uh, again, I got this at TFCon uh, when I was there in what was it october was it october uh and or was it november i don't remember uh but got it at tfcon and it was 200 bucks because it was convention but again i've seen him from 150 to 179 this makes me want to get the the lion force one uh that they have of the super deformed uh voltron but um when i think of all the voltrons that i have reviewed and I rank them. And so the last would be the Vehicle Force Voltron. Uh, that was, I forgot who it was by, but it was just not great. Uh, next to the last would be the Toonami 30th Anniversary. It was just really loose. I think it was because it was a used copy. Second place of the four would be this guy. This guy is awesome, uh, really cool, would be great in any collection. And then first place would be the 3-0 uh, Voltron that I own. Now, I know some of y'all may be like saying, oh, Blitzway Voltron's the best. Bandai uh, Voltron's the best. I don't have any of those, so I can't compare them. If I get them, it may change my mind, but I just don't have any of those. I'm comparing them to what I have, and 3-0 is the best with what I've got this one being a close second on it so on a scale of good bad awesome this is freaking 15 car pile up awesome on this this is this is one of those those bots that you just want to stare at play with over and over take apart put together and just put it in different poses and things like that so i don't think you'd be disappointed at all if you pick this baby up so that's all I got to say about Vehicle Force Voltron. Hopefully I could find it somewhere to watch because I'm now in the mood to watch some Voltron. Uh, so I want to see, I want to watch, I want to have some fun and relive my childhood. So in the meantime, y'all remember, stay young, have fun and form Voltron. I mean, form, be awesome. <laughs> y'all have a great day. Bye-bye now. <laughs>